Look, financial planning has traditionally centered around the three-legged stool, private pensions, private savings, and a government-sponsored benefit plan. But all three of those are not doing too well. In today's age, it's no longer a three-legged stool. Today, it's more like balancing on a circus high wire without a safety net. Welcome to another episode of Wired for Wealth, guiding you to achieve lasting financial freedom and peace of mind. I'm your host, John McGregor, your antidote to your financial struggles. Let's face it, folks, the world has changed. 20 or 30 years ago, you could literally fake it. I mean, the way finances were tied to life was a lot less complicated. By simply going through the motions, you could achieve the financial future you always wanted. All you had to do is go to work. I mean, people's jobs were safe and you had a guaranteed pension for life, right? Well, sadly, not today. I mean, pensions are no longer guaranteed. That's right. Private savings barely exists, and these government trust funds are running dry. In the U.S., our system called Social Security is expected to run dry in, ele in 11 years. 11 years, and Social Security is running dry. I mean, we have a new paradigm today, and we can no longer operate as we once did, or at least how we want to. We can no longer count on those old school beliefs to get us through this. The paradigm has radically changed, and this new paradigm will affect everyone, regardless of his or her financial situation, rich or poor. And old solutions to new problems do not and will not work, especially in today's environment. Adding to this perfect storm, three more reasons people are suffering today. I mean, let's face it. The school system has completely ignored financial education. Think about it. It's crazy. Money is interwoven in almost every aspect of our life, and this subject is ignored in the school system. And for most people, money is either the underlying source of pain and anguish, or it's a source of abundance, and the schools ignore it. And by the way, it's not by accident. They do this on purpose. The government designed it that way. But I'll save that topic for another day. I mean, I can remember taking a home economics course in the eighth grade. You know what I learned? <laughs> I learned how to make chili and sew a pillow. That's right. Now look, although making chili came in handy in college, we were taught nothing about the one thing we needed to survive. I mean, it's absolute insanity. And what about the financial industry, right? Aren't they providing the help people need? Well, you would think so. But unfortunately, the financial industry only focuses on a small segment of the population those with a lot of money, and their only solution is selling financial products or investment strategies to solve people's problems. People are suffering every single day with mounting financial stress and anxiety, and I will tell you, a financial product, a mutual fund, is not what people need. And let me add a third phenomenon that people are faced with, unlike any other time in our history, social media and other media outlets, pumping into our brain 24 hours a day. It's like it's like hypnosis, whose sole goal is tricking us into buying stuff we don't need with money we don't have in order to impress people who, frankly, really don't care. I mean, that's why I call this the perfect storm. And you put putting all this together and people are falling further away from financial peace that people so desperately need. People are literally trapped. And that's why I call this the greatest epidemic in our society. In fact, it's greater than all diseases combined. Look, any success you desire in your life starts in the mind. And this is no different when it comes to your financial life. And that's the missing piece. That's the missing piece that all the other uh, financial programs miss. Changes to your circumstances. Changes to your circumstances are in direct proportion to changes to your mental state of being. And based on what we've learned, I'm gonna tell you why there's simply no other way to achieve true, lasting financial peace without incorporating a process that taps into your brain and makes changes at the core of your mental programming. The bottom line is that there is no change in your life unless there's a biological change in your brain, period. And providing information is not enough to cause that biological change you need. Your brain, that three pound blob of, of fats and proteins, it's comprised of over a hundred billion, that's billion with a B, neurons. This information superhighway is running your life. But for many, sadly, it's ruining their life. It controls everything you do. 
It's your best friend and it's your worst enemy. What I mean by that is it's your best friend because it, it's what enables us, enables us to do everything we do in life, right? It's what makes you a human and not a sea urchin. It's the most amazing technology that we've seen anywhere in the galaxy, but it's also your worst enemy. It's the thing that tells you, you know, it's a really good idea to order that extra plate of onion rings when you're on a diet or buy that new iPhone when yours is working just perfectly. So the reason your brain can be your best friend and your worst enemy is that different parts of your brain work in different ways. The part up here, the prefrontal part of your brain, it's the most evolved and it's associated with higher learning and higher thinking and higher reasoning and all that long-term planning that you do. I mean, think of the smartest people you know. This is where most of their brain activity sits in this prefrontal cortex. This is where you wanna be. This is the part of the brain that enables you to thrive in life, crush it, right? But there's another part of your brain that's usually at odds with the stuff up front. It's the most prim primitive part of your brain and the part that we share you know, with reptiles, that's right. That's why we call it the reptilian brain. This part is much less evolved and it's associated with, with all that stuff that ends up making life hard and tends to make those, and, and forces you to make those rash and impulsive decisions, right? And we've all been there. This is, the part of, this is the part of the brain that makes you act without thinking. This is the part of the brain that makes us, that forces us into survival mode. I mean, think of cavemen trying to survive and not get eaten by saber-toothed tigers. This is where their brain power spent most of its time. This is the part that takes over when we lash out at someone when we get caught off in traffic. So why is it so important to minimize or eliminate stress? Hence, why is it so important to get your financial life together? When you're stressed, specific chemicals are released in the brain that force this reptilian brain to take over. And that's where most of your thinking stays when you're stressed. Stress forces you to stay in this reptilian mode. And when you're in that mode, you lose your higher functioning brain power, thinking capacity, and creativity. It's out of your control and you become trapped. And stress causes this to happen. Hence, your money problems are forcing you to stay in this reptilian mode. Are you seeing the connection here? So for you watching this, it's not that you're not smart enough to transform or you don't have the education or the financial literacy or the upbringing or the parents or the school, any of that stuff. It's that your stress is forcing your brain into this reptilian mode and it's preventing the genius that you have within you to emerge. You have what it takes right now to transform your entire life and not just your financial life, believe me. In the 12 years, now I've been in the industry for 27 years, but I've been teaching this process for the last 12 years. And in the 12 years I've been teaching this process, I've seen some of the worst situations you could imagine turn around. And in all the years of witnessing people who thrive in life, I mean really crush it, and those that merely survive, it boils down to two simple things. Those who thrive in life have embraced and followed a proven process that works, and number two, they took action. And I know that sounds oversimplified, but that is the formula. You need an effective process that taps into the core of your mental programming and you need to take action. Because a process without action is just that. It's a process that will get you nowhere. And I'm gonna be addressing more on this in future episodes. That process that I teach, so make sure you hit the subscribe button because you do not wanna miss further episodes. But in the meantime, ponder this question. Ponder this question, what proven process have you adapted or adopted to help you achieve the life you desire and the life you deserve, frankly? What process have you adopted to achieve the life you desire? And look, there's no shame in saying you haven't or you're just winging it, that's why you're here. Acknowledgement of that is a big step moving forward. So take some time and ponder that. And I'll see you in the next episode where we take a deeper dive into the solution. And don't forget, check out my website for a lot of great resources you can download for free that can and will position you for success going forward. Oh, and also, take a look at my financial transformation program called Thrive Path. It's a real game changer. It's all on my website. So until next time, take care. Upward and onward. Bye-bye.